I have absolutely no idea where the time went, but somehow it's March. Yeah, how crazy is that? I feel like we blinked and February was gone, but now that it's March, I'm super excited because I get to share with you all the things that I loved in the month of February. And I loved a lot of things, skincare, hair care, makeup, some snacks. Oh, you know we got snacks in there. And I'm just excited to share all of it with you. So let's jump right into my February favorites. Last time I started with skincare, and so I think I'm gonna do the same thing this time. We'll just like stick with tradition, okay? Starting off with April Skin. April Skin as a brand in general, I loved in the month of February. It's Korean skincare, and every single thing that I have tried from their line is absolutely stellar. I'm just like in awe. Everything I try just gets better and better. And this I feel so passionately about. This is the April Skin Carotene IPMP Hydra Melt Cleansing Balm. So this is a makeup remover, yes, which it does an incredible job at doing that. It takes off waterproof mascara like it's nothing, but it also removes blackheads which scientifically I'm not still entirely sure how it does it as well as it does. But when I tell you, I used to struggle so bad with blackheads on my nose. And ever since I started using this, has not been as much of an issue. And I'm just saying this stuff is absolutely phenomenal at removing your makeup. And it smells like an orange field. So who doesn't want that? And it's this like really bright orange color. Absolutely stellar. I'm obsessed. 10 out of 10 recommend. The Carotene Pore Clay Mask. Listen, Linda. I don't know also what is in this, but I've never used a clay mask that didn't feel drying, but that also felt like it effectively really cleaned my pores. Like a lot of the time I feel like when you use clay masks, in order for them to like really get in there or feel like they really got in there, it like really dries out your skin. This somehow feels moisturizing going on and coming off and also really feels like it gets the gunk out of every single one of your pores. It's so magical. When you put it on, it literally, like you can see it sitting in all of the pores, like along your nose, on your cheeks. I'm just, it's, uh, I can't say enough good things about this. April Skin, good work. This is a new launch of theirs, but it should be available on their website. So I'll make sure to have it down below for you guys. But I'm just, I'm such a fan. Elf. We gotta talk about e.l.f., okay? Because this product has re-entered my life and I don't know why I stopped using her. Actually, mm, I do, I do actually. It's because I shared it on TikTok, once upon a time, and then it sold out everywhere because other people were sharing it too at the same time. And then I couldn't get my hands on it for a very long time. And it made me big sad because I really liked it and I really feel like it has helped my skin a lot. And I just didn't get access to it for a long time. And then I just kind of forgot about it. And then I was at Target in the little elf section and I don't know, I was just like perusing and I looked down and I saw it and I didn't recognize it initially because it was in new packaging, but it's the Gentle Exfoliant from e.l.f. It's in a new bottle, it used to be in a little pump bottle and now it's in a little squeezy bottle. And let me tell you, this ish is the best exfoliant I have ever used on my face. It's gentle yet somehow incredibly effective you put it on dry skin and you rub it in and as you massage it in, I'm just gonna, let's do an example, let's do a demo, I'll do it on the back of my hand. But as you massage it in, it literally starts to remove dead skin. I'm hoping you can see this. That's disgusting. Do you see that? Wow. And it just leaves your face feeling soft as a baby's freaking butt. I have no words, I love this stuff. I just don't want you to sell it all out. Okay, so just like maybe one per person, this go around, and we can all have one and we can all experience the magic. But it's only $10. I have no idea how Elf managed to pull this off for only $10, but I'm such a fan. And I'm so excited that it's back in my routine. Um, so I've been obsessed with this in February. I wanna mention this. I don't know if it's working yet, which is why I'm not quite sure that it categorizes as a favorite, but it's something that I used every single day in February. And I feel like if you use it that frequently, you should mention it in a favorites video. So I'm gonna call it a soon to be favorite, maybe. We're in the process of reviewing the Ordinary Multipeptide Lash and Brow Serum. Here's the thing. I'm a millennial, which means that we overplucked our eyebrows in our teenage years because the trend back then was to have no eyebrows or very skinny eyebrows. And now y'all are out here telling me that it's trendy now to have like big fluffy eyebrows. 
I don't have those because I almost permanently got rid of them by overplucking them so much in high school that I don't think that they know how to grow back anymore. I just don't think that the hair follicles exist anymore. And so I'm sad about that because I want to have like fluffy brows that you just like run the like brow bomb through and just call it good for the day. Like I want to be that girl. Okay. But I'm not right now. However, I do kind of feel like this is working in helping them grow back. Like I genuinely feel like it's doing something. It's only $15. We love the ordinary. The ordinary is like so affordable. I love that, but it was only $15. And honestly, like so far I have noticed some growth. I feel like it, I need like another few months to tell you like for sure whether or not this is worth like the investment, but I just like put it on as a part of my nightly skincare and I don't know, so far I do feel like it's working. I've not used it on my eyelashes. I feel like I have naturally like decently long eyelashes, so I don't really find the need to like do it on my eyelashes, but I, it does work for that too. So you could use it for both. That's a solid multi-use product for 15 bucks. So would recommend, I got mine at Target. I don't think that they sell this at all locations like Ulta or whatever that like carry the ordinary. I've never seen this at my Ulta, but they do always have it in stock at the Ulta section in my Target. I don't know, make it make sense, you can't. Um, but love this stuff. I use it every day in February and I'll keep reporting back on whether or not I think it's like definitely worth it. Okay, we're gonna move on to makeup. I only have two things that I wanted to share with you because a lot of the stuff that I've been using regularly, I told you about last month in my in my January favorites. Um, and so I feel like you, you've seen a lot of the things that I've been using, but a few of the new things that I've been really obsessed with are this setting spray. It's from Ruby Kisses. I bought it on Amazon. It is a matte oil control setting spray and it contains ultra fine powder. But what's nice about this is it doesn't mess up your makeup. I feel like when setting sprays contain powders in them as like a mattifying effect, a lot of the time when you spray them, they like make your makeup splotchy. This does not do that. If you like have to shake it up though before you put it on, but it's like a super ultra fine mist, like super fine mist. Um, and I just feel like it makes your makeup last for a long time. For me, I really like it because I film a lot of videos, obviously. So I'm in front of like big lights a lot and that can make you look really, really shiny sometimes. And so I love this for like before I film, I'm, I'm such a fan, but even for like, I don't know, like going out like at night when you feel like you might be kind of sweaty, if you're like going out with friends or whatever, dancing, like this ish holds up. So 10 out of 10 recommend, and I wanna say it was only like 10 bucks. So would recommend to a friend. I've never heard of this brand Ruby Kisses before, but they're doing something right with this. Okay, the other thing is my, I wanna use this when I have fluffy brows product, but I have been starting to use it. I actually today, hopefully it doesn't look bad. <laughs> um, I did just fluff out my brows today instead of fill them in with a pencil like I normally do because I'm just so tired of having to do that because I have jazz hands, I have tremors. You didn't know that about me. And it's like annoying to try to like muster the effort to make my eyebrows look even mildly related. And you guys are so sweet. You always say that like they look good, but it takes so much time to do that. And I get like stressed out like about it when I'm doing my makeup. It's the one part of my makeup routine that gives me anxiety. And I, like, that's so silly. Like I don't want my makeup routine to give me anxiety in any way, shape or form. And so I would really like to become more low maintenance in that way. And I would really like to have brows that like I can just fluff out and like call it good. So I have not been filling in my eyebrows. I've been using the Lash Peptide Brow Serum and I've been fluffing them out, whatever I do have, with the e.l.f. Soap Brow. I didn't understand how to use this for the longest time. <laughs> I saw other people use it on the internet and I was like, I'm not entirely sure like how y'all are making this look good. That's because you have to use water. I'm so silly. I didn't know. I thought people were just like dipping into this soap. It's, I mean, it's literally soap. I thought people were just dipping into it with their like eyebrow brush and that that's what they were using to like fluff out their brows. No, you have to wet this first and then put your brush in it and then you fluff out your brows and it, it really does work. <laughs> so there's a tip in case you didn't know that either because uh, I felt really silly when I finally figured it out. But this stuff works so good. It doesn't leave like a, uh, like a white cast on your eyebrows like I thought that it would because it's 
clearly like not entirely clear in here and so I thought like oh that might look really stupid um I know that they make other products like this that are clear like more like brow gels but this was kind of just a good jumping off point for me I think I might graduate at some point to those if I can get my brows to cooperate um but I do really like this I feel like it's five dollars so like why not give it a go if you're curious um it's been like a good like training wheels brow product for me that's like stepping outside of the region of like filling my eyebrows in with pencil um i've also been this is new so i didn't put it in a favorites video but i point to the bathroom because it's in there um i've been using the just for men beard dye like last week i discovered that you can use that to tint your eyebrows and I have a whole video on it on my TikTok and Instagram, so go check it out over there if you missed it. But it tints your eyebrows so that like when you, when you fluff them out with this, it looks more noticeable. It looks like I have eyebrows because naturally my eyebrows are like a really light brown color. So they're thin and color like color wise almost non-existent. Um, so so rude. Um, so yeah, I just feel like this was well worth the $5 if you want to like trial out a new brow product like the fluffy ones then would recommend this one. Okay, hair products. I have three, no, two hair products and two hair tools to tell you about. Mm -hmm. First hair tool, let's just start with the tools. The first hair tool is this hair dryer from Whalers. Listen, I get offered every once in a while on the internets by brands that are like trying to sell their products on the TikTok shop, which <sighs> love or hate the TikTok shop. There are a few things that I have gotten from there that genuinely changed my life. So like as much as I too hate the TikTok shop as a creator, because I really think it totally mucks with the algorithm. There are a few things that I have received from the TikTok shop people, the brands that sell on there that have absolutely changed my life. Um, this one I did not buy with my own money, true confession, but I would because wow, I think that this is equivalent to like the power of like a Dyson hair dryer. I just, I've never owned a hair dryer of that caliber before, but wow, can I tell you that this was worth it? It's, I want to say like $150, which I guess if you think about it in terms of like good hair dryers, it's not that crazy, especially if you think about how much a Dyson costs. This doesn't do the curling or anything like that, of course, like not like the air wrap, but this dries my hair in three minutes flat. And that's not an exaggeration. It's absolutely miraculous. I'm gonna plug it in so I can show you what it does because this thing is crazy. She like, it literally pushes it back because it's so powerful. Like, you can hear it. And like, I look like I'm in a wind tunnel. Um, best part about it is you can change, I should probably, get my hair back down okay um you can change the temperature it's got cold it's got warm you can change the speed of the dryer to like a less intense speed and like i said this literally dries my hair in three minutes flat it's absolutely insane it comes with which i love a diffuser which is so great because my last diffuser was like in a, a universal one where it just like popped over the top of the blow dryer which was kind of annoying because sometimes it would pop off and that was kind of frustrating when you're like upside down trying to diffuse your hair. Um, and so this one is really dope because it's a magnet. And so it literally doesn't come off. It's so cool. And I diffuse my hair all the time. Like when you guys see my hair kind of like, not like this, like I curled this today, which is an achievement with my shoulder. You're welcome. I'm, I'm providing you my best hair for this video. <laughs> Um, but when I diffuse my hair, which is what I normally do when I dry my hair because it's the least uh, pressure on my shoulder, I plop my hair on top of my head and then I diffuse it. And this diffuser has been, oh my God, just like so much easier to use. It dries my hair so much faster. I'm just like such a fan. It also comes with an air concentrator. I don't use this as much because I don't really find that I need it, but also magnetic. This thing is incredible. I love it. It's on my TikTok shop, and I don't say that because I want to make money off of you. I'm telling you because this has changed my life. So you can go get it if you want. You can also order it from the Whalers website. Do your own thing, Boo Bear, but I'm just saying, 
I love this thing in February, I did. The other hair tool that I wanted to talk about is this hairbrush. And it's something that I've used for a really long time. And in the month of February, as I was using it, I was like, I should be putting this in a favorites video because I didn't even know things like this existed until I found it. So I should be telling you guys about it because this is one of my favorite things. It's a hairbrush that I use to dry my hair. A round brush is really difficult with my shoulder being as annoying as it is. And also half the time when I'm drying my hair, I'm drying it upside down, also making it impossible to figure out how to use a round brush in that scenario. And this has been a saving grace for me because it is a super lightweight, way lighter weight than a round brush. It has uh, holes in it because it's designed for you to use it to dry your hair. So you just brush through your hair and dry it that way. And for me, this has helped so much too because it has like a little divot right here, which with my jazz hands, it's really hard for me to do anything that involves any kind of hand strength for long periods of time. And drying your hair can sometimes like take a while, especially again, cause I'm doing it upside down with my bum shoulder. I'm complicated, it turns out. <laughs> but it's really hard for me sometimes to, to like hold on to things for extended periods of time. But if I have like a really good grip on it, that really helps cause then I don't have to like strain as hard. And so this has like a little spot like for your thumb. So it's ergonomic. Um, I'm just like such a fan. It also uh, gets out tangles with a quickness. I love this hairbrush. It's on the Amazon. It's a, it's a tangle teaser, but it's literally made for blow drying. So there you go. I have two hair products that I liked in February that I want to tell you about. The first one that I re-fell in love with, and I think I talked about this in my January favorites video, but I'm going to tell you about it again because everybody on the internet uses this day cactus fruit three in one styling cream to do slick back looks on their hair which is great honestly like that's what i bought it for when i had longer hair and i loved it for that it genuinely creates the perfect slick back look without being sticky or like um hard like from hairspray it's awesome but now that i have short hair i found myself like not using it at all for a while for that for that purpose because I have, don't have enough hair to slick back. But then I remembered that you can actually use this and it is literally recommended on the bottle to use this before drying your hair, before doing a blowout. And for me, it genuinely helps with frizz. Especially, I use it even when I'm plopping my hair and not doing a blowout necessarily. I will put this in my hair when I'm plopping it and it decreases the frizz so much because when you're using a diffuser, especially when you have, for, for me, I have wavy, not curly hair. And so for me, it gets super frizzy sometimes in the diffuser. And this really negates that. And I'm such a fan. So it's kind of expensive. I want to say it's like $45, which is kind of a lot, but I really feel like it does a good job and it lasts forever. You don't need very much of it at all. Actually, if you use too much of it when you're drying your hair, when you're using it for that purpose, it'll make your hair feel kind of dirty. Um, so you really like a pea sized amount. So this bottle lasts forever. So 10 out of 10 recommend, love this. The other hair product that I've been loving is this hairspray from Cake. I loved a hairspray from Davines, which is like a bougier, like salon grade, like line that was a flexible hold hairspray and it was like $60 <laughs> but it smelled super good which I hate to say that that's something for me that matters in a hair product but it does to me um and so it smelled really good but also it was a hairspray that really held my curls in but left them feeling really touchably soft that's like something I really look for in a hairspray my hair actually holds a curl like really well because I have naturally really wavy hair. And so I don't need it to be super strong hold, but I do need a little bit to keep it in for the day. Um, but I do really like my curls to stay nice and like, like touchable. Like I want them to be soft. And so this is a budget friendly version of the Davines one that I loved. This I find personally at my Walgreens. It's from a company called Cake. I know that they sell this line at Ulta as well, but it is a flexibly totally to die for hairspray and it smells super good. It works just as good as my Java Nest one. And I want to say this one was like, I don't know, 15 bucks, totally worth it. I am obsessed. I feel like this has definitely replaced the Davines one that was like $60. As much as I love this, love that one. Um, 
I just can't, I can't spend $60 every time on hairspray. That's so silly. So this one from Cake, 15 bucks. I have been absolutely loving it. Okay, the last category of favorites is drinks slash snacks because y'all see me try lots of drinks and snacks on the internet and I can't not include some of my favorite things. Although interestingly enough, a lot of the snacks that I try for like Mad Snack Monday, I don't eat on a regular basis. I just get to try new ones every week when you guys suggest them, um, but then I pretty much leave them behind after that. There's very few ones that I actually like wind up eating again. True story. But, so a lot of, so a lot of these things are like not like weird snacks, but they're just like things that I love. The first thing is, I've been really into making a ranch Greek yogurt dip. So basically you just buy like plain Greek yogurt and you get one of the packets of ranch powder and you just put it in like a little tub of Greek yogurt and it's awesome because it makes like a super healthy high protein ranch. I love to dip veggies in it particularly. I've been really into, I would show them to you but I don't have any because I ate them all. The mini cucumbers the little crunchy ones, I buy them at Trader Joe's, they have them at Costco, they have them everywhere. They're so yummy with this. And so I've been really, really into that. And I've been like trying, trying to be healthier. Aren't we all always trying to be healthier? Sure. So I like everybody else try to be healthier. I feel like especially like once like spring starts to happen and the sun comes out and like summer's coming. And then I like try to get my health game back in check because the holidays always wrecks me a little bit. So this has been one of my favorite little snackies. Um, but it's such a hack because you can do this with French onion dip. You can do it with any of the dip powders. Y'all have ever been to the fair or like a craft fair, any kind of little like shop situation where they have the dip booth every time they have a dip booth or farmer's market. They have them at the farmer's market all the time. And you can like dip the pretzels in them. Those dip mixes in Greek yogurt are so amazing. And it's way less calories than it is if you put it in sour cream, like they recommend that you do. So you can really change this up in a bunch of different ways. I love, love, love this. The other food thing is cinnamon raisin bagels. This is so random. I don't know. There's some other cinnamon raisin bagels that I have been all about lately. I like them with peanut butter. I like them with cream cheese. I like them with peanut butter and bananas. Yum. I'm just such a fan. This is what I eat for breakfast every single morning and I have for the last couple weeks. And I don't know if I'm gonna stop anytime soon. I'm just like really into the cinnamon raisin bagel. I, like I have nothing else to say. It's a bagel, Nicole. <laughs> I'm like, it's earth shattering. No, to me it is. Cinnamon raisin bagel. I'm not particular about the brand. I do love when they're pre-sliced. That is pretty nice. The ones at Trader Joe's are not pre-sliced. So it's okay, it's Trader Joe's. We'll, we'll love them anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan. The other food product, if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you've seen me talk about these and I genuinely love them. This is a full box because they were kind enough to send me a bunch because you guys liked the video so much that they were like, hey, can we send you some more? And I was like, yeah, uh, that never gets less cool when brands are like, hey, look, we really like your video. I'm like, me? Because I purchased these with my own money the first go around. This box was sent to me, but I purchased these with my own money the first go around because I saw other people on the gosh dang TikTok shop eating these protein brownies. And I was like, those look so delicious. And if you're telling me that they look that delicious and people were saying they taste that delicious and they have 19 grams of protein in them and like 200 calories, you mean I never have to eat a protein bar after the gym, which actually I do love certain protein bars. I am a fan of some of them, but Nonetheless, you could literally have a brownie. Like you're telling me I could have a brownie after going to work out? Yes, yes, yes. I think some of these actually resemble almost like cake, um, but they're from Alpha Prime. They're the protein bites. Like I said, if you're on TikTok, you've probably seen these at some point in your feed, but they come in all kinds of super fun flavors. Um, I have a couple that are my favorite. Chocolate Cookie Monster is really good. The Cinnamon Roll stop it's so good um that one heated up oh you gotta put these in the microwave for like 20 seconds it does make a difference they're even better um the peanut butter uh cookie peanut butter candy crunch one delicious um cookies and cream blondie also good the birthday cake i love but i'm also like i'm a, such a funfetti girl so like this was really good for me um the cookie dough bites one of my other favorites the chocolate donut Yes, 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 yes. Um, so those are all the flavors, but I just like love that you can get this little variety pack and then like whatever you're in the mood for, 
you just get it. And I don't think that they were that expensive. I want to say mine was like 25 bucks. And they come with, what, like 12 of them? Which, like, that's how much protein bars cost. So, for me, this was, like, such a worthwhile purchase. I've been obsessed with these. I've been eating them all through February. And so I had to tell you about them. So, like I said, they're not paying me to tell you that I like them. And I did originally purchase them with my own money, to be clear. So my opinion is 100% authentic. Although now, they do send me some, which is really sweet. So would recommend okay the last two things on my favorites list are beverage related number one propel packets oh wow listen i suck at drinking water fun fact about me i'm really 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 bad at drinking water especially when it's cold outside when it's hot outside i always want water when it's cold outside i couldn't care less and i will go like half the day and realize that i haven't had almost any water which is really bad for you and so i'm trying to be better about that and one of the ways that i've been doing that is with these propel packets they come in a bunch of different flavors i like them because they have electrolytes in them so especially after i go ride the bike at the gym in the morning and i sweat a whole bunch these are awesome for replacing the electrolytes that i've lost um i love the raspberry lemonade that's one of my favorite flavors and then the kiwi strawberry which is currently in my gym bag next to me i literally have these around me at all times um but these are the only reason i've been drinking water in february because i just I don't feel inspired unless there's something fun about it and these make them fun so would recommend you can get them at walmart amazon safeway really honestly anywhere okay last but not least listen you guys if you followed me on tiktok and instagram for a long time you know that i love the starbucks holiday blend more than i love any other coffee i don't know what it is about it there's something magical that they put in this and i just every time i try to go for another brand of coffee or even the other Starbucks blends I'm just not as in love as this one kind and obviously it's now February but when it's off season you can still buy this on Amazon yes you heard it here first and so in the month of February like early in the month of February I bought this because it was only $40 for 72 a 72 count and I was like a steal I, only, I should have bought more than one. I don't know what I was doing with my life. So I should go back and check and see how much they are now. But you can literally buy these all year round. It's just the price fluctuates based off of like how much stock they have. But I pretty much exclusively drink this all year round. But I was out in the month of January because I was like, no, Nicole, you don't need it. Like you can find other coffees you like. No, no, I can't. No, I can't. This is my tried and true. She's my boo. And so she has been a part of my month of February and it's made my mornings very happy. And I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, that was everything I loved in the month of February. I want to know what your favorites are because I'm always excited to try new things. I love switching up my routine. So if you had a favorite makeup product, skincare product, uh, anything, food, snacks, like I want all of it, leave your favorite things in the comments because I would love to know. Make sure you like this video if you want to see more favorites videos in the future so that way I know. And make sure you hit subscribe so you never have to miss my face. And I'll see you in the next one. I love you. Bye. I want it better than the weekend. We can take it back to when we said just friends. Don't want to tell you something new. I've never said I fought for you. I want it better than the weekend. You can't show me just what I'm missing.